Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? You've all asked me to take a look at some of the FS19 stuff and give you a little bit of commentary. So I thought I would kick it off by taking a look at the Farming Simulator 19 official Gamescon gameplay trailer. Now, if I remember, I will add in some music because the actual music that they've used is very, very cool. And it fits the video nicely, but unfortunately it's copyrighted, so I'm not going to actually include it. We're going to play this on silent. Farm like never before, Farming Simulator 19. It does look very, very cool. So what have we got in this video? What have we actually got in here? And first up, obviously, we've got the horses. Now, there was a couple of points where we had the horses, and I... This is going to be the difficult bit, is actually finding the footage. So we'll talk about the horses in a minute. We know that there's horses, and it does actually look like you can ride the horses wherever you want to go. This map here, we've seen, well, not all of it. Uh, actually, that's two separate maps. That was two separate maps right there. Why is my thing being weird? What, what, why are you, why are you doing that? Why, why have you, 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 you're being strange. Why are you bringing up this bit? I don't want that bit. So uh, next, best of idiots on the road. I don't want to watch that. Right, let me try this again. We will go from here. So yes, this map here, this is the European map. We had another look at that already where it showed some of this off. It is in development stage. Now this here, this I'm assuming is the Estancia Lapacho map that's been reworked a little. You can the palm trees and everything because as far as I know, we've got three maps. We've got one in mountains in Europe. I uh, can actually remember where it is, what country it is. Um, there's one in the US, and then we've got the Estancia Lapacho map that's been redone for FS19. I'm assuming this is the Estancia map. So then we go through here. We've got a train right here. Now, this is a nice red-colored train, and very quickly it switched over to... I don't know anything about trains whatsoever, so anything I say about trains is pure guesswork. We've got John Deere. Now, we knew we had John Deere tractors, but we've it, this is confirming that we've got John Deere combines as well. You've got some nice big um, field wagons in here, chaser bins, and that was going along quite nicely. There was a case quad track pulling that one. There we go. And then you can see over here the truck. Now, is that a Peterbilt? Peterbilt or Kenworth are the two big names in the US. Now, we did have them in FS15, uh, FS we've got them, but they didn't actually have the names of them. So they had their Lizard brand instead, but the shapes of truck, I was told, we had Peterbilt and we had Kenworth in the game. So it may be that they end up doing the same again. Because, I mean, like this one here, we've got Hallmaster as an actual brand. And, well, I don't know if the Hallmaster bit is the brand or if the, the Elmer's bit is the brand, but... Did you notice that they were very careful not to include anything on the trucks? So it might be that the trucks themselves are Lizard brand, not actual licensed Kenworth or the other one, uh, Kenworth or Peterbilt. So there is that possibility. We know that we had man trucks and stuff there, but we didn't see any European ones. We got Bednar right there, and here we've got a Fent. And Fent with the, the, um, the Challenger Sky. Um, well, I was going to say skin, but the Challenger type approach. Now, aren't these both made by the same company? Aren't they both Agco? I think they are both Agco. So we've got the Agco um, stable in there, and we've seen a couple of others as well. There was some Massey kicking around somewhere. I can't remember where it was. And that's another Bednar as well. That go oh, ah, that goes on behind the... Is that a... That's a seed drill. That was the spreader that we had on there before, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was the spreader. Where did we have that? 
We have the, the um, let me find it. Bednar 30 box. So it looks like on that one little clip right there. And look, see, there is no name actually associated with these trucks. I did look back on the other bit as well, but I can't see any name. Now, what is he doing here? Can you actually see what he's doing? Oh, I see. Right. No, it was. I thought he was fertilizing, but it's the same operation from three different angles. So we've got it, the 30 box there suggests that he's carrying fertilizer. Maybe he's carrying seed as well. I'm not quite sure, but this does look like a single pass operation. Looking at the texture of the soils, I would say that that looks like we've got a distinct improvement on the soil textures. And, you know, it's, it is a job to tell. It's difficult to tell. Now, this looks like a train in the U.S., this definitely looks like a train in the US. I think the first train we seen was a train... Oh, no. No, we got a palm tree right there. So maybe this is a train on the Estancia La Patria map. And the first one was a train on the US map. Here we go. We got the, the horse riding. Now, it's not just the horses around. See, she's in several different locations on the horse. And we also, at the beginning, there's the picture of the horse. But we also, at the end, you got the horse going into the sunset bit. It looks like you can ride the horses all around. Now, I've not read all of the stuff that's been released. So some of this may be, um, like, already known to you. But we can ride horses around. We'll be able to ride horses around anywhere on the map, which is really awesome. Cotton. i seen this the first time. I obviously said, now, wait, just a cotton pick in a minute. And I don't apologize for saying that because I would say it. I would do it again, I tell you. But we've got... Hang on, hang on, hang on. That was... Let's go back a couple of seconds there. We've got Case. Case cotton pickers. Now, I know that you get John Deere cotton pickers, and those are quite big. I would hope that we would have more than one option for cotton picking. And so, But we've, we've definitely got three Case machines working here. Herring off across the field. And they do seem to go at a fair rate of knots as well. So, oh. Uh, are these like the ones that have a press? Put in the comment section down below because I know nothing about cotton pickers at all. Now, I've seen them where you've got a great big cage on the back, but that doesn't look like a cage. That looks like it might be some kind of press. So whether that is one of those that leaves them in bales in the field? Because we don't see anything else about it. It moves straight on to this seed drill. Now, this is a row crop planter. Even I can recognize a row crop planter. We've got Vardestad back in again, and this one's on the back of the John Deere. That John Deere, I think, is the one that they released a separate video for. Um, and yes, it was work-in-progress footage. So the actual tractor was looking pretty sweet, but the map was looking a bit bare-bones. But um, we, we can ignore those kind of bits and sort of focus on, on the better bit. Hang on a minute. Go back just a couple seconds there. Right, we've got a... It looks like the texture for planted fields is fairly similar to what exists. You can see the rows there behind that does look quite similar to what exists right now. Um, we've got different coloured soil here, and I haven't noticed actually any other colour soil. I'm hoping that like the Estancia one would have different colours. And I am hoping that we've got variation in the colours of the soils. Um... I think that's another wait and see type operation. Now, this is the one that I'm particularly excited about. And, I mean, yeah, the, the sprayer is very cool and all, but it's not the sprayer that I'm particularly excited about. And I don't even know the brand, Hardy. I've never heard of that before. No, it's this. Look, can you see the weeds? Can you see how they're dying off? I've seen this on another video as well. It was a, a video somebody linked me and it was in German, I think. Um, I just kind of went through and looked at some of the highlights of it. And... You go across the field, you spray, and these weeds all die as you go. And so you've got to, you've actually got to go and spray weed. You've got to spray herbicides on your field in order to kill off the weeds that are growing. Or you can use the weeders. It's not in this one, but it was in the other video that I watched. You actually take the weeder and you drive across the field and it removes the weeds from the crop. So I'm assuming that if you leave the weeds, you actually take a overall yield hit and um, you so you get less of a yield you get less crop coming out of the field at the end of it and i would also assume that fertilizer has got something to do with this as well although i'm not quite sure but you can see quite clearly here the hand of death passes across the field quite effectively with this spray i don't know what they're using but it's pretty fast acting and quite frankly i'm a little bit concerned that they're putting that on my food i think we'll um i think we'll feed this bit to the cattle rather than to to ourselves we don't really want that for human consumption that's pretty that is some potent stuff that they're putting on the field but it's they're doing it look see 
as you're going across it, you've got all these weeds here, and it is killing off the weeds. This is one thing that I am particularly excited about. I think it's going to be very, very cool to be able to do that. Um, there is other aspects like the, the way that you buy the land and stuff, but we'll look at that later. And that's Massey Ferguson right there. A huge, great big... And this is a corn row. Uh, the, yeah, like the, the corn um, header, isn't it? So we've got a huge, great big Massey, but there was one as well. I've seen a clip for a... Um, was it a Deutz? No, it wasn't a Deutz. It was a... I can't remember now. What was it? There was a big black combine, and it wasn't this Massey either. There was a different one. Another great big black combine. So it's two big black combines, but that is Massey Ferguson. And now the crop itself, that it doesn't know, you can see the finished field here, does look a little bit different to what it does at the moment in FS5, uh, FS7. I keep saying FS15, it's not FS15. We're playing FS17. Get with the times, Frith. Um, but no, that does look very similar. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually kind of the final product there. There's no real need to update it. Maybe the animations on the headers have been updated a little bit, but we don't... Oh, we do see a little bit. And looking at that, as you just go back a couple of frames there, and we go back a couple more frames as well. Just watch it. It seems like a smoother animation when it goes into the header. Um... There's not a lot in it, admittedly, but it's definitely a slightly smoother animation now than what it was. You still get that kind of little tiny clip as it moves into the crop, but there is a definitely, there's a smoother transition between standing crop and crop that's being fed into the machine. And this is good. We don't want them to overdo animations like that because the more they do animations like that, the more they overwork on that, the more pressure it's going to put on your console uh, for your Xbox users and your PlayStation users and also for your low-end PC users. The more animation that they put in, the, um, the more pressure it puts onto your gaming rig of choice. And this is a bad thing because it will ultimately limit you to fewer mods and things like that. So the more that they can limit this kind of action, the better. And that's very smooth, and I don't think it needs to be any better than that. I don't, I honestly don't. I would rather see them put more stuff into, like, more machines in that. Because I know that on the consoles, the biggest limiting factor you guys have is the, um, the amount of mods that you can have. Now here we go, the Crone. Big M. I can't quite see what number that I think is. Is that a 450? I'm not sure. I have, I, I don't I don't know. I can't quite make it out clear enough. I think it's 450. I'm not sure. But anyway, we do have the crone. It's going along and it looks like it's putting it all into one row as well as spreading out. We've got a machine here, and I don't even know what this one is. Komatsu, I think. Yes. K right there. It's the Komatsu, and they did talk about this in another post as well, and I can't remember which post it was. Um, they've been releasing quite a bit of footage for this game, and quite a bit of different things. We've got a Komatsu one. I don't know if we still got Ponzi then. We may not have Ponzi in FS19. I haven't seen any references to it yet. I mean, it could be. It could that we've added in Komatsu to the, um, into the stable, and so we've got that one as well as the Ponzi. Now, we do also have the other tree harvester. I can't remember which one it is, but, um, generally everybody finds that one to be utterly useless, because it can only do really small trees, and even then it's, um, it seems to struggle with those. So, I've, I've I've hardly ever seen anybody ever use it. I tried to use it once, and the trees were so small they weren't worth bothering with. So I sent it away, and I've never used it since. We've got Manitou over here. Absolute beautiful classic Manitou. Um, this is a very new-looking Manitou as well. Look how sleek and beautiful that design is. And look at the roll bars on this cab. That is absolutely wonderful. You would be safe in there. You could put this up the full extension with a load of bales on it, drop the bales on the roof, and you'd be quite safe. That would be wonderful. Now, this trailer, DPW210BL. I don't know if that's like the, a, a proper official name, but it's a Fleagle trailer, and you can see here the sides closing down. This is a mod. This was a mod, so they've added this one into the game. Now, whether this is because of agreement with the people that made the mod, I've no idea. I don't know anything about that. I know nothing about it. All I know is that this trailer, you load the bales on and then you close the sides down. Now, I don't know if this is like adding in some form of auto-loading for a trailer. It didn't look like it was auto-loading when the Manitou stack of bales on. 
it was still having to load the bale manually and I would really hope that there would be some kind of auto load as well just to help us out a bit I mean if you've got that frame on there it's certainly going to make life a lot easier for you to be able to stack your bales in if you can unload just on if you can like open it on one side and also how good is it how well have we got to get the bales lined up on the side in order for it to work and we've got Valtra right here you can see the Valtra pulling it away so we know they're coming back in and that's always an absolute beauty the the Valtras they are and this is on the European map by the look of it in the mountains so it fits well Valtra this that's the home territory of the Valtra that one's heading off up into the hill and there we have the final cut where we're going into the sunset with the horses I'm very impressed with everything I've seen on here so far like I said, the one that I'm looking forward to the most at the moment is that spray on the crops. And then you've also, I've seen that we've got weeders that work on the crops in the same way, that remove the weeds. I don't know if we've got things like um, fungicides and spraying for insects or anything like that. That may or may not happen. Uh, we've seen that the John Deere is in there. So that's just kind of what I've picked out of this trailer so far and what we've got. I'll start to have a look at some of the other FS19 stuff as well and give some opinions on it. But so far, I'm thinking that this is going to be the best version yet, without any doubt whatsoever. I've not seen anything that leads me to think that they're cutting corners or anything like that. Um, we've got... It's, it's wonderful to see a big self-propelled mower coming back because that was one thing I really missed in FS17 and one thing that I don't think they should have done. They removed that we had a self-propelled mower and then they removed it from the game in FS between 15 and 17. And that to me was one of the big disappointments because as a lot of you know, I particularly enjoy doing grass related work. Um, the, the, farm, the sort of farms that I grew up working on was all mostly um, grass and animals. We did very little arable work when I was growing up. So you know, I've done some arable work, and but I used to have to travel away to do arable work. And then the other thing, of course, is the animations going into the header here. I really, I'm, I'm hoping that this is it for the animations. I do not want to see like excessive animations on any of the machines. I want to see, you know, when you unfold them and things like that absolutely great, but just general working. We don't want too much, we don't want it excessive. There's a lot of dust that does come off of these machines, and that's one thing I'm a little bit concerned about, because you can see the quality of this video. I've got the quality up high as, wait a minute, 480? Goodness me, we should be able to do better than 480. Let's go 1080, there. Right, we ought to be able to stick on to 1080. Let's go back up here a minute, and then we'll watch this on 1080. Okay, I didn't like that. It blipped at me. Blipped at me. There we go. Ten it is the whole thing been in 480? I don't know. But anyway, you can see the amount of dust that is coming off of these. And the thing that concerns me for this is that kind of dust is what makes the time lapse rather poor quality because it, it interferes with the clarity of the video, clarity of the picture, and adds more um, high contrast pixels into it which then leads to the um, compression artifacts and you can actually see some compression artifacts in this video where the dust is really heavy so there is that slight concern that I've got but overall I think we're doing pretty well with this and um, we've even got dust coming off of the horses it I'm con I am concerned about the, the cotton as well I think the cotton could present some challenges so maybe we won't do excessive amounts of cotton this this is the bit that I like the most. This is, without a doubt, my favourite part so far. But anyway, um, it's just kind of a few opinions for you right there. We will have a look at some more Farming Simulator 19 stuff in the future. I'm going to keep just putting out little bits here and there. Is there anything in particular you want me to talk about? Is there anything in particular you want to um, me to give an opinion on? And... Uh, conclusions is there anything that you have found out about FS19 that you don't think is very well known by the general public because I know that like people have been analyzing Gamescom footage and things like that and there's stuff that hasn't been announced and talked about that I've been sort of being drip fed by various different fans and some of it looks really cool and it's not been talked about at all so yeah 
get into the comment section and tell me every little secret that you think you've uncovered. I'd love to hear about it and we will address some of it in future videos as well as take a look at some of the dev blogs and things like that. But that's all we've got time for right now. So if you enjoyed the video, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, and please tell your friends all about me, get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.